The Shield Maiden has slowly but surely became one of my main decks here in Clash Mini. And I've been loving it because we be dogging on some of these crazy... You know, we be seeing these decks. We be seeing a lot of the Barbarian King. We see a lot of um, Archer Queen, which I just love going into those Archer Queen matchups. As long as they're not maxed out, of course. And just going crazy with the Shield Maiden. And this deck works extremely well. We have two different... Marksmen that are our main damage dealers with the wizard and the archer it sort of depends on the matchup as far as which hero or which mini we're actually going to be leveling up if we are going up against the barbarian king you're going to see my wizard be more leveled up than usual and if we're going up against like an archer queen or a siege deck whether it's like shield maiden or the royal champion then you'll see the archer get leveled up more and then as far as the specific upgrades the archer will always be the same we want to make sure we try our best to get the two stars on the archer or to make her attack uh two different characters on the field and then we will try our best to get the speed boost if we need it for the wizard i do i mean as long as it's not the barbarian king matchup i do like to do the upgrade where he is able to do extra damage as well as increase the range of his attacks against the barbarian king we do the, the damage or the heal we, we make sure that we block the barbarian king from healing and then we also go with either increased range or damage just sort of depending on the deck that they have but in this specific matchup right here we're actually cooking we're just putting cards down and they are getting absolutely stomped so it's looking like our win streak will be continued because i don't believe he has a way to stop us but let me see what he actually has here on the field because i know I, I seen that wizard um archer barbarian knight okay yeah we're chilling uh let's go with the guard and once again we we have this matchup here so i am going to go with impacting a greater area since he is running a siege deck and then we will get our attacks to attack one more target and we should be good so the whole idea of this deck is just really just to protect, 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 right? We've got all these other semi, we got the main tank with the shield maiden. We've got another tank with Pekka who deals really good damage. And then we have the guard who was like a mini tank and the knight who's a mini tank. And then we just protect our damage dealers. As long as they stay alive, we'll be good to go. And then of course with all the splash damage that goes down as well, having the shield maiden, you know, take aggro with her ability and then reflect all of that damage does us a lot of good, a lot of good too. So that's a 3-0 win over the shield maiden and now we're up against the barbarian king so let's go with the we definitely have to make sure we have our wizard out i'm, I'm debating whether or not i want to drop my second wizard right now which will give us a better chance of winning round one preventing the enemy healing and then we'll go with the guard i have to hope he doesn't play like a minor i'll put the guard in the back to make sure that counters that and he does play minor i don't know if the guard gets over to it. i don't think it does but i think the minor will not be going to our wizard which is really good and then the queen or the maiden will also make sure she takes aggro of the minor of the barbarian they're both going to do a lot of damage to themselves and this is still going to be a very close round we did manage oh if she managed to get that off that would have been nuts but i think we're fine here anyways with the guard with the wizard able to pick up that first round go up one zero it's always good against these super powerful decks always a great thing so i'm just going to keep on playing away from the energy spot i don't want him to play anything thinking that we want to play that spot that desperately because we really don't uh let's do bonus damage here and we'll go knight and archer just get them both down why not i will be playing the knight though on top of this spot here just so he can try to get his shield off which would be really good for absorbing damage the wizard's pretty strong now already he does have a prince okay so our pekka is going to be one of the key players in this game because we're going to need him to stay alive and, and protect against all of that work that's coming in from the back line luckily for us the king is down and another lucky factor here is wizard actually survives that which is huge and she's going to take aggro away from the knight or away from yeah the knight onto herself and now we're able to go up to zero so even without the pekka being down we've been able to stomp this one so far so now we will get the pekka down in the back that will ensure that we stop the the minor push but we do need to make sure that we get another tank one of our mini tanks up in the front just to help out i prefer doing the guard really we'll get the knight down um on the energy spot if he princes it actually you know what i don't, I don't want to play him there because if he princes it it's gonna trap our pekka and that's not gonna be good for us he does prince it so now the pekka We'll get tossed back, but the Miner will take aggro. Or we'll make sure that he hits the P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. is going to stop the Miner. Our Archer does go down, but that is totally fine because look at this here. This is just domination, utter domination. And now we're going to improve ourselves to a 12 win streak with this deck. Ultra Instinct running another Barbarian King deck. 
and we're able another thing that i love about this is we're able to get down three cards off rip now this is hmm actually you know what i'm just gonna hope that he doesn't have prince i will be playing my knight in the back just because i know a lot of these barbarian king decks are running prince they're running minor so if those two things are going to be in the deck we've got to make sure we have one of the counters up so he's not running either of them which is really good our archer will target his archer and our knight takes the aggro from his archer as well so she's gonna die without getting any tremendous value and now we're gonna have a four to two troop advantage he is also running the dark goblin in his deck which is huge for us because that dark goblin i mean as long as we can get the timing right and get him to target our shield maiden then we should be fine the, the, the king is doing a great job i mean he's just so tanky he's gonna get a tremendous heal off and i think actually we win this round it's gonna be close i know we win this round let's go we're going up one zero love to see that into the second round we're gonna go with the uh pekka in the back we'll drop the knight here and we will go with the wizard getting the prevention of the heals off on the enemy hello how are you my little nephew's here it's christmas <laughs> So you might as well go ahead and watch this out. So now the P.E.K.K.A. is going to be in the back. It's going to do a lot of damage to the Prince. Stop that as well as possible. And I mean, you just look at this. This is an awesome defense. Barbarian King is the last card left here. And he's going to get chopped down. So that's going to be a 2-0 lead over Mr. Ultra Instinct. And now going into the final round, I could just hold my setup if I want to. I know he's running Prince, so he might Prince this spot, which I'm okay with as long as it's a Knight that ends up taking the aggro of that. We'll get our Archer to attack one more target. Get the uh, the guard down on the field, and I could go knight plus one, or I could look for the wizard. I think we go we, we look for the wizard here to get the bonus damage, and now let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. He doesn't prince, so unfortunately our knight's probably just going to get pieced up. But with the heal, he might be able to get his first ability off. No ability goes down, but the wizard is going to do all that crispy damage, and now the barbarian king is going to fall, and that's going to make for a very easy 3-0. So now we are on a 13 win streak with this deck. So I highly recommend that you guys check this deck out.